Have you ever wondered how the Renaissance, a European phenomenon, influenced Indian trade and cultural exchanges? This is a fascinating question, isn't it? Well, the Renaissance, a period of great cultural and intellectual rebirth that spanned the 14th to the 17th centuries, was not just a European event. It was a global transformation, a new dawn that touched every corner of the world, even the far-off lands of India. This period, known as the Renaissance, was marked by a renewed interest in the classical learning of the Greeks and Romans. It was a time when artists, scientists and scholars pushed the boundaries of human understanding, creating works of art, literature and scientific discoveries that still resonate with us today. The Renaissance was a time of exploration and discovery, a time when the world as we knew it was being redrawn and redefined. But the Renaissance was not just about art and science. It was also a period of immense social and political change. The feudal system of the Middle Ages was gradually replaced by more modern forms of government and society. The church, once the most powerful institution in Europe, found its authority challenged by new ideas and beliefs. And as Europe changed, so did its relationship with the rest of the world. The Renaissance was a time of great exploration and discovery. And as European explorers set sail for distant lands, they brought with them the ideas and innovations of the Renaissance. So, what about India? How did this European rebirth touch the shores of this ancient land? Well, the impact of the Renaissance on India was profound and far-reaching. It affected everything from trade and politics to culture and society. It introduced new ideas, sparked new ways of thinking, and opened up new avenues of communication and exchange. As we dive deeper into this topic, we'll explore how the Renaissance transformed the Indian landscape, influencing trade, cultural exchanges, and even the course of Indian history. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey back in time to a period of great change and discovery. As Europe woke up to a new dawn, the ripples of change reached far and wide, even to the shores of India. The Renaissance was not only a cultural rebirth, but also a catalyst for exploration. As the intellectual fervor of the Renaissance swept across Europe, it also sparked a burning curiosity about the world beyond their continent. This curiosity led to the Age of Discovery, a period marked by unprecedented exploration, the establishment of new trade routes, and the opening up of the world in ways that were previously unimaginable. At the heart of this new era were the explorers, brave men who dared to venture into the unknown, driven by a thirst for knowledge and a desire for wealth. Among these explorers were names that have since become synonymous with discovery. Christopher Columbus, Vasco da Gama, Ferdinand Magellan and many more. Their explorations had a profound impact on Indian trade. Before the Age of Discovery, India's trade was primarily land-based, with the Silk Road serving as a major conduit for goods moving between the East and the West. But the explorations of the 15th and 16th centuries introduced sea routes that offered faster and more efficient ways to transport goods. Vasco da Gama's successful voyage to India in 1498 is a prime example. His journey, which opened up a sea route from Europe to India, around the Cape of Good Hope marked the beginning of a new era in trade. European traders, particularly the Portuguese, Dutch and later the British, flooded into India, eager to establish trade relations and exploit the rich resources of the subcontinent. These new trade routes facilitated the exchange of not just goods but also ideas, cultures and technologies. Indian spices, textiles and precious stones found their way to European markets, while European ideas, technologies and cultural practices seeped into Indian society, influencing everything from architecture to cuisine. In this way, the age of discovery, fueled by the spirit of the Renaissance, changed the face of Indian trade. It broke down old barriers, opened up new possibilities and set the stage for the modern era of global trade. The age of discovery, fueled by the Renaissance, had begun to redraw the map of Indian trade. 
The cultural exchanges between India and Europe during the Renaissance period were rich and diverse. The Renaissance, a period marked by a renewed interest in arts, science and philosophy, not only brought about a cultural revolution in Europe, but also had a profound impact on India. This was a time when explorers ventured far and wide, opening up new trade routes and cultural exchanges. On one hand, Europe was introduced to the vibrant colors and intricate designs of Indian textiles, the calming melody of Indian classical music, and the profound wisdom of ancient Indian literature. The Indian influence was so profound that it found its way into European art, music and literature, often serving as an exotic backdrop or a source of inspiration. On the other hand, India was gradually introduced to the Renaissance culture. The ideas of humanism, the beauty of realism in art, the harmonious symphony of orchestral music and the captivating narratives of European literature began to seep into the Indian cultural fabric. One of the most significant impacts of this cultural exchange was the introduction of the printing press in India by Portuguese missionaries. This not only revolutionized the way knowledge was disseminated, but also marked the beginning of a new era in Indian literature. Likewise, European art and music began to influence local Indian styles. For instance, the use of perspective, a key element in Renaissance art, was incorporated in Indian miniature paintings, giving them a new depth and dimension. Similarly, the orchestral symphony of European music inspired a new genre of Indian classical music that combined traditional ragas with Western harmonies. But this was not a one-way street. Indian culture, too, left a lasting impression on Europe. The wisdom of Indian scriptures, the beauty of Indian art, and the melody of Indian music captivated the European mind. The Indian influence was so profound that it even found its way into the works of great Renaissance artists and writers. The Renaissance thus served as a bridge, connecting two distinct cultures and fostering a new understanding. The influence of the Renaissance on Indian trade and culture didn't end with the Age of Discovery. As we venture further into the narrative, we find that the ripples of this epochal shift in European thought and society continue to shape the interactions between India and Europe well into the modern era. The Renaissance, as we know, was a period of rebirth. A time when Europe looked back at the glories of the ancient Greeks and Romans and sought to emulate their accomplishments. This revival of classical learning had a profound impact on Indian trade. Europe's newfound thirst for knowledge and exploration opened up new trade routes to the East, leading to an unprecedented exchange of goods, ideas and cultures. The introduction of new technologies and ideas during the Renaissance led to the Industrial Revolution. This period of rapid industrial growth in Europe had a profound effect on India's economy and society. The demand for raw materials increased exponentially, leading to a surge in exports from India to feed the factories of Europe. In turn, this led to significant social and economic changes within India itself. Moreover, the cultural exchanges that took place during the Renaissance continue to shape India's arts, literature and philosophy. The fusion of Indian and European artistic styles, the introduction of new literary genres and the cross-pollination of philosophical ideas have all left a lasting imprint on the Indian cultural landscape. Furthermore, the Renaissance's emphasis on humanism, the value of the individual and the pursuit of knowledge and truth has had a profound influence on India's educational system. The focus on critical thinking, the value of evidence-based reasoning and the pursuit of intellectual freedom are all legacies of the Renaissance that continue to guide India's approach to education and learning. In a way, the Renaissance served as a catalyst that accelerated the process of globalization. The intermingling of cultures, the exchange of ideas, and the creation of a more interconnected world are all outcomes of this transformative period. The Renaissance, therefore, was not a distant European event, but a global phenomenon that continues to shape our world today. So, 
What does this journey from the Renaissance to the modern era teach us about Indian trade and cultural exchanges? Let's take a moment to revisit some key takeaways. The Renaissance, an era of intellectual rebirth, was a catalyst for change that seeped into every corner of the globe, including India. It reshaped the way the world engaged with this vibrant subcontinent, sparking a new era of trade and cultural exchange. Indian spices, textiles and knowledge became sought-after commodities, creating a dynamic trade network that stretched across oceans. But it wasn't just goods that were exchanged. Ideas, art and philosophies were shared, enriching societies and shaping future generations. The impact of the Renaissance on India is not a relic of the past. It's a living legacy. It's in the global fascination with Indian culture, the continued relevance of its traditional industries, and its growing influence on the world stage. From trade routes to cultural exchanges, the Renaissance continues to echo in the many facets of India's relationship with the world.